Hi. In this video, we'll try to understand the merge transform. Let's begin. We'll begin with the PPT. There's nothing much in the PPT. It's a very simple transformation. So this is how it looks like. There's so many inputs and uh, one output. That's why it's called a merge. Merging so many into one single output. By definition, it goes like this. It combines all incoming data sets, producing a single data set with the same schema as the input data set. Note, all incoming data sets should have same number of columns and type of columns. Number of columns and type of columns. So let's go to the VODs tool. To match the criteria, I have two tables. Employee and employee. Basically, this is a copy of this. A copy of this, because it has to match the number of columns. So I have taken these two tables with the same number of columns. Now, I want a query here. Because in this table, I have emp ID as a primary key and the other it's not so while merging it it will throw an error for a primary key violation because uh, data is same in both so I'll remove this so I'll remove this and bring in the merge transform merge transform let's try to validate it for this Okay, throws an error because the conditions are met. Number of columns in this, these two sets are same, so there is no error. Let's dump this into a target table. I'll call it as merge. I'll select this data store. Okay, I'll run this. Uh, before this, let's check the number of counts. So these two tables I have used. Let's check the counts. Count of 3573 and 3574. That will lead to 71142. Uh, 367147. Okay. Let's run this job. There's much, not much of a complexity here. It's a simple transform that does the union of all the input data sets. So 7147. Merge. So if I query merge, so we start from merge, I should get 7147. So it's matching. Let's check the conditions mentioned in the VPT. It says uh, should have same number of columns. Let's remove one column and see. I'll remove this flag. Now let's validate. So number of columns don't match. So that's correct. Let's add this and check for the other one. Let's increase the strength to 2. And let's see. What's the error? The length 2 and 1. That's correct. So, while using uh, merge transform, make sure you have the same data, data sets coming in. So, this is how it works. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a good day.